Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 24th, 2022. A very happy birthday to my sister-in-law Barb. Barb, I hope you have a beautiful day and I love you so much. All right, let's see. Angelsouls444.com for personal readings. We could do an Akashic Records reading or an angelic reading for you. All right. We have last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. Man, they are saying take this. Oh, you guys, this is probably really, really good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is probably really good for us personally because there's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity. Maybe it's something that you, you know, maybe there are some insecurities coming up, but you can handle this. You're going to be really good at this. And it's trying to ignite something in us to awaken something in us. Again, it's going to look different for everybody, but you know, whether that is this, we see, this is the thing we want to be careful with. We all don't want to accept our mortality, right? And so how many of us live our existence trying to make some sort of legacy, making an imprint, laying it down, making sure we live beyond this physical existence. And one of the messages that I very consistently get from the angels is that when humans go and make that their priority, leaving a legacy so that they can live beyond, it's all done out of fear. Even if someone says, no, 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 I'm not doing it. Yeah, you are 100%. Because if you weren't fearful, it wouldn't matter. You would just love and be loved, accept life as it is not feel like you have to be above others, not feel like you have to shine brighter than anybody else. And what kind of era are we in? We are in an era where everybody's trying to be a celebrity. We have social media so that everyone can be a celebrity. That is nothing but fear. Fear of not being remembered, fear of not making an impact. It's a lot of validation seeking that tells me that people don't feel okay as they are. They need to be seen and get that validation from other people before they feel valuable. So what is that? Where does that come from? Why isn't it good enough to do the best as you can as a soul in a human body and live a human experience? Why isn't that enough? Why are we always trying to leave our imprint? And this is saying, let go of that type of fear. Let go of that type of fear. Leave the past behind. That is the key there. This is why so many people are seeking validation because their past is haunting them. This is why people are afraid of not leaving something of worth behind because their past defined who they were. And maybe the past was, you know, it could be a lot of things. Maybe someone had the best childhood. I've not met too many of those people, but maybe they had the best childhood and then they got into the real world and they're like, oh, I'm not as special as my mom told me I was, <laughs> right? Or people grow up in an era where there's like a collective abuse going on. That was very much the case in my coming up years. I, I was an 80s kid. So, you know, it was, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It was the, the face on the milk carton generation and it was just constant fear and, um, you know, a lot of other things going on. So we can come from a pained past and, and take that with us. And when that is functioning through us, we don't think we're good enough. We're just trying to get through this life and then get to this place of peace, but yet we leave something good behind, right? Now I'm not talking about leaving an imprint by being a good person or leaving an imprint by helping people. Now, yeah, do that, I mean, sure, but when we're talking about, I need to make sure everybody knows my charitable acts. Everybody knows how talented I am. Everybody knows how beautiful I am. That's coming from something else. And that is a wavelength, a frequency that is really going to affect us in a negative way if we don't get that under control. And the way we get that under control is just by stopping and asking ourselves, you know, am I doing this so I can be famous and so that I feel loved? Or can I feel loved on my own? Am I using a platform to have reach 
because this is my work, I'm supposed to be doing this? Or am I trying to get people to see me as, you know, again, special? It, you know, it's always that popularity contest, right? I know you guys, I know you guys know what I'm talking about here. So really, we have to evaluate that. It's always about the intention behind it. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.